How did, how did this project feel in your hands? Well, um, well, I worked with Rob a lot, and we had just finished um, working on the Bob and Mars movie together, and uh, Warner Brothers had approached him with this uh, property for his comic, and he knows that I'm a big sound fan, and a big comic fan, and a sci-fi nerd all around, and so he called me and said, so they have this project that they're interested in, I Zombie, and I was like, so, <laughs> what's it about? <laughs> Is there really one zombie, or but, um, yeah. Yeah, so he called me and we talked it through we, and we read the comics and we came up with our, our take on it and um, that's how it happened. It's been kind of great. It's so bizarre. Like for both of us, we've been in development for so long and you push these passion, passion projects and you're like, like for me in particular, it's like I just want a strong female lead and you pitch all these things and they're like, oh, too female. And then they approach you and say, we want a strong female lead and by the way, here's a property. And it's just been kind of amazing. <laughs> Very close. Very close. I mean, that's how we, that's our team. It's like comedy, little sarcastic. Yeah. That's kind of our, with the hints of drama and emotion and romance and all that. We're calling it um, a, a zombie <laughs> or something cheesy like that or a zombie. Um, but um, yeah, so it'll be very close to Sun Tone. I think that the people that are on the Mars fans would, would like it. I would hope. If they don't, we have done something wrong. <laughs> and I would probably never see you again. So, uh, but I understand there are uh, some big differences between the comics and the show. There's a, a lot. I mean, uh, I'm a fan of the comics. Yeah. It's it was just you couldn't really translate it to to television. But the, the main, the most important ingredient was the inspiration for the show, sure. which is this woman early in her, in her life, like that her quarter life crisis being turned into a zombie, and and how she deals with this new life or new death, and also the the onus that comes from that, also having this component where you have to eat brains, and then you get these memories and flashes from the people who's brains. And how you can tell that. And so that was kind of the big interesting thing for us. And as far as the comic goes, I mean, I love the comic, and there's things that like sneak in that aren't really like story points or things that we like purposely use, but then we find that we use, like, there's a, it's a crappy example, but there's a, um, you know, our whole zombie massacre takes place on a boat, on a lake. And in the second um, comic, so the second book of the comics, they, um, there's a flashback to Gwen, and she's like, it's, she's on a boat and they're talking about this massacre of Indians with this like octopus creature and it's not like we read that and went okay so we'll have our thing be on a lake and there'll be a massacre it's like and it's just in the it becomes like in the ether and, and you find yourself being inspired about it in different ways and that's been really cool for me and, and cool in, in talking to Chris who, who created who's the writer of the comic like things that he's kind of picked up on and he's like yeah I know you got that from me you don't know you did but you did so um, yeah but, um, it, it, but is there a major plot point or a story that's the apocalypse coming or There is a basically every episode will be a, like a standard procedural of a crime that is solved every episode. But there'll also be kind of like this B story that's uh, a the zombie related B story that will go over the course of the season and the series. Um, so there will be it'll have that kind of procedural element, like similar to like Veronica Norris, how she would always have like two cases, like in that first season how she had like the case of the week and then there was the Lily Kane mystery. Zombie is our Lily Kane mystery. So. Is she going to be keeping this a secret from people in her life and is that going to be part of it? Is how yeah, I mean it's a secret from everyone except for but as of right now it's a secret to everyone except for, for Robbie, her, her boss. And um, so that's a big thing is that you, you kind of have to keep that secret. So as I know from personal experience. Scratch? No. <laughs> But um, yeah, I mean, that's a big part of it. And that's another thing that's like, super interesting to me. Like, the dual life, like, you have to keep a secret. Like, how do you maintain a friendship or a relationship when this enormous thing that you're dead and have to eat brains is like all you think about and you have to just be like, yeah, nice blouse, sure, I want to go to the mall. Like, you know, it's it's pretty, I find that pretty interesting. Given that zombies and violence are normally associated with violence, zombies, what are the levels that you're playing with in terms of being the show? Oh, uh, yeah, our zombies. Zombies only dance, so it's very West Side Story. The, no, I'm, um, the, um, <laughs> I'm just 
Have you just busted that out? Just like, oh, yeah. um, no, um, it's it's the yeah, CW. So there's certain parameters of how far we can go. We'll push it as far as we can go within, like not just for gratuitous reasons, but just was ever interesting to us. The CW is actually like I don't know if you've seen the originals or even Rain. They beheaded someone. It was like Clash of the Titans when Medusa's head falls off. I was like, really? Did they do that? But, yeah. So it's is there any uh, talk of trying to connect it with any other DC CFDs? There hasn't been, but that would be cool. Um, I know, I'm just like, every time I just you know, think about the fact that I kind of technically work for DC, I get such like a nerdgasm. I can't even tell them, like, they brought, they have a vault that they took us to, and I went there and got all this like Wonder Woman merchandise. It was like the best day. It was amazing. 